Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and today I'll show you how you can enable the power saving mode. So there's actually two different ones in here. Uh, number one, you have the actual like power saving mode with the name of it. So that is accessible by pulling down your notifications and you can save it, find it right here. Once you tap on it, it will turn off high refresh rate. So right now the screen should be running at 60 Hertz only uh, instead of the 120. Uh, but also there is one more thing which you can enable, which you do by going into the settings and then battery and the device gear. There we go, battery and device gear. And I'm looking for the battery section. Huh. There we go. So let's click on the battery. And here we have more battery settings and performance profile. You have the standard or light. Now, what light uh, profile will do is limit the CPU performance. So apparently from what I've heard, it's limiting it to approximately the same speed as like Z Fold 3, but it will consume much or significantly less power apparently, though yeah, I haven't really seen that happen. The battery drain has been still about the same for me um, when I'm using browser. So I'm pretty sure for at least what I was using this phone for, most of my battery drain came from the just the display itself. So probably limiting the refresh rate will be better. Uh, but yeah, and general usage, a light might be better if you don't care about this like absolutely top peak performance, uh, then you can save uh, some percentages right here by having apps just take, I don't know, a split second longer to open up talking about like fractions of a second right here so uh so yeah by having just an app open about a tenth of a second longer or whatever it will take uh you can get some battery life which i personally do prefer to have enabled even if it doesn't save much it still will save a little bit and i'm not necessarily looking for like that top top peak performance right here i'm not been i'm not doing any kind of like high performance uh tasks right here to actually care for this so that thing that I just showed you is kind of like manual toggle. You don't have a switch in here for it. So you do need to go into the settings if you want to disable it later on and basically change it back to standard. But for better, uh, for the power saving mode, you can quickly toggle it on and off from here, like so. So anyway, with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.